What's up Aquarius? Happy Friday. Happy weekend. I hope everybody's having a great day. We're going to get right into your full moon lunar eclipse reading, which is occurring on the 25th, which is Monday. We're going to see what needs to come through in terms of messages. First lunar eclipse of 2024. Perfect time to close things out. Cut the cord. Um, shut the door on certain chapters of your life. And manifest during this time what you're desiring, what goals you still want to reach for yourself. Do take what resonates. Watch your moon sign additionally. Um, you know, for additional messages that you feel drawn to, clarity, um, similarities. But also I urge the rising and the Venus placement if you've got the time. Um, for those of you that are brand new, I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam and welcome to my channel. I'm giving away two free personal readings, as most of you are already aware of. Those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe and leave a shamrock emoji in the comment section for the month of March. Each month, I give away something. Um, it does differ. Usually, it's personal readings, love, career finance. This month, two people will be chosen. You get to tell me what you would like your reading to be about. So go ahead and subscribe and leave that shamrock emoji at the end of each and every month. I remind you guys to check your notifications for those that participated because like I said, two people will be hearing from me. We've got card of six, cycle of life, night magic, crossroads, letting go. Reminds me of the six of swords, <clears throat> leaving the troubled waters behind and moving forward. Letting go of certain things to bring back, to bring into your life peace and happiness, tranquility, better memories ahead. And look at this, Waking Dawn, 22. There are a few other signs that got the sun card. That's why I always urge to watch your moon, your rising, and your sun. I mean, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Wildfire, Divine Masculine, Magnificence, Witness. It's like you're pulling the curtains down on a cycle in your life. And then it's like you're moving up the blinds so the sun can shine in. That's the image that I just got. Pulling down the curtain, final call on something, and letting the sun shine in. Some of you, I feel you're definitely dealing with a Leo. You may have strong Leo in your chart. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. You know the sun and the um, the sun and the lion are Leo. Yes, for some of you, you definitely have strong Leo in your chart, or you're like I said, you're dealing with a Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Confidence is your key to success. Full moon, new moon in Leo. Very synchronistic, guys. All right, Spirit, for my Aquarians during this lunar eclipse. All right, thank you. Goals being reached. Progress is positive in your life at this moment. Feeling like success, achievement, whether it be in regards to finances or career or just your overall happiness and stability. Yeah, taking a leap of faith. Having the courage to move forward. Move towards that sun. Most of you don't know what that, where it's going to lead you. And that's okay. We're not meant to know each and everything that's meant to be in our life. But you're moving forward with confidence. And this brand new adventure awaits for you. I do feel such, such success. gotta say I just got an urge like this big surge of happiness in me Aquarius something amazing is happening for you a feeling of happiness and gratitude like I feel excited to be doing your reading and I don't have any Aquarius in my chart all right spirit the present energy for Aquarius yeah, you're in your best energy. 
mind over matter, head over heart. You're, you want nothing but the truth. You want nothing but success. You've learned those strong challenges in your life. And it's like the, the lion within you is being awakened. All right, Spirit, what is the energy that is surrounds Aquarius during this full moon? Lunar eclipse. Ten of Swords. Curtain call. Closing out that chapter. It, this could be multiple things that have left you feeling discouraged. One specific thing that felt a lot of disappointment within you. It was hard for you to bounce back from, but you're doing it. And like I said, you're bouncing back even stronger than ever. Moving forward. There is rapid change coming towards you. Spirit, what is going to be the overall outcome for my Aquarians during this full moon lunar eclipse? The Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Breaking free from where you feel stuck. It might even be leaving a job that makes you feel stuck, that doesn't bring you happiness anymore. And moving on to something, maybe even starting your own business. You know, doing something brand new that makes you feel grounded and happy. I have strong air, strong fire, and strong earth here. All right, let's see what else we can get for you. Knight of Pentacles. Good news coming your way, an offer. Yeah, for some of you, it's like, might be juggling two jobs, going back and forth with the decision. But what is coming towards you, this offer, this communication that's coming in, it's going to bring balance into your life. We do have strong Capricorn energy here, um, Virgo. Gemini. Aries and Taurus. And then I like I said, Aquarius, your energy. What decision you make is bringing you a lot of balance in your life. It's something that you've definitely worked really hard for. Eight of Wands wanted to come out. Page of Swords. Ace of Swords. Archangel Michael showing up. Yes. Look what just came out. The Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. It's like being honest with yourself. You know what you deserve. You know you're not feeling happiness within something specific in your life. You've planted the seeds. You've worked so hard up into this journey. Up until this point, why shouldn't you have exactly what's going to make you happy? Why shouldn't you? It's not wishful thinking. It isn't. You can make success out of anything that you put your best foot forward for. And that's what's happening here. You're overcoming these hardships. You're closing the chapter on these things that don't feel right, that don't seem right. If it's a person that has lied to you, has, you know, come to you with not the best intentions, you're done with it. You are blossoming and growing, and you are moving away from those things that are no longer making you happy. That's where that curtain call is. That's where that, that strength and that wisdom and those lessons of the lion. It's like you're surging forward towards happiness and joy. You are breaking free and taking that leap of faith in a brand new direction. You have, like I said, the Ace of Swords is here. That is the best breakthrough that you want. Success, honesty, protection. It's Archangel Michael. All right, Spirit. Additional clarity for my Aquarians. Yeah, for some of you, you are meeting a person that brings you long-term commitment, that brings you so much stability 
and they have a big heart. They're not afraid to work. They're very kind about what they pay forward. For some of you, I really feel like you're taking a time out, just regrouping. But there is, there's love coming your way. A grounded connection, and look what happened here. A grounded soulmate connection, and you're taking that leap of faith forward towards it. This could even be a business opportunity of going into business with someone. This may even be a platonic friendship that ends up being lifelong. I really feel like this beginning that's opening up for you just makes you want to have more pleasure. Like where it might have been more work, less pleasure, it's like more happiness, less work. But like I said, there's a lot of stability coming towards you. Like I said, curtain call for the sun to come, for the sun to rise. And like I said, for some of you, you got very strong Leo in your chart. We have Leo one, two, three, four, four times. The sun, the strength card, and then the lion. Or you could be dealing with a Leo. But there is a brand new beginning. It's very fair for you. It brings balance into your life. You're receiving good new, good news on some platform, whether it be a romantic partner, business partner, platonic soulmate. A brand new beginning is here. And it feels like such happiness, success, and joy for you. Best breakthrough of all is the Ace of Swords. What you're worrying about, whatever it is that's weighing on you, is going to turn out positive for you. Basically, everybody knows this who knows my channel the sun to me is spirit saying no need to worry all right we'll take them we've got the crossroads needing to make a decision when you find yourself at a crossroads during this full moon lunar eclipse you don't have to worry you just follow the sun's going to shine down for you regardless just follow your intuition Yeah, being very fierce, overcoming the power struggles, determined. Look, two, 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 multiple twos. And then we have temperance, healing, balance, being patient with yourself within 14 to 30 days. Unexpected rendezvous happy coincidence <clears throat> good fortune coming towards you and then there's the star wish fulfillment so we have time frame within 14 to 30 days two to four weeks so two weeks is 14 days so that temperance and the star healing Patience, wish fulfillment, and this wanted to come out in the worst way. You were the clearant, a person you already know, girlfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. So for some of you, the stability, this stable relationship, you already know this person. Grounded relationship, um, business opportunity, friendship, but it's like curtain call for one chapter in your life, maybe several. Soon as you pull down that curtain, it's like the sun rises for you. A brand new beginning. Warmth, happiness, compassion, joy. All right. Aquarius, always let me know how it resonates. Leave that shamrock emoji to take part in the giveaway. We have I. 
N E P Y A S R J T and G. All right, take what resonates. Um, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, my Etsy shop is going on vacation mode momentarily. There is only one reading that I'm offering at the moment, and it's an expedited turnaround time within 48 hours. So you still have a chance to take advantage of that. Once it goes on vacation mode, I will reopen the second week of April when I return from my vacation. I am wishing and hoping for the best blessings to come towards you during this lunar eclipse, um, but also an ama amazing weekend ahead. So much love and light, guys.